it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I love to share how to make beautiful, useless things that we don't need but can't live without. <laughs> so if you insist on making those beautiful, useless things with me, we will make it in the best way possible, the most efficient with the best practices and best tools. I've got tips and tricks, and today is no different. Um, but before we get started, I do have two fun announcements to make. Um, first, I have a $5 off coupon code for you to use at Craft Express. Uh, head to their website and shop. The code is CAMP, all caps, C-A-M-P. Um, I'm pretty obsessed with Craft Express. I use their machines and blanks. And you'll get to see um, in today's session with me a few of my favorites. Glitter tumblers, mugs, and of course, how else would you use those blinks without the mug press and tumbler press? And speaking of, I have one to give away. It's the tumbler press. I know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so you'll have to head over to my website, theuselesscrafter.com, and there will be a tab for sublimation camp and all the details will be there. So don't forget to sign up. All right, so I'm pretty obsessed with sublimation. When I first started crafting a few years ago, I actually had no idea sublimation existed. In fact, I thought it was called sub, sub, subliminal <laughs> printing. I can't even say it. I held off for a long time because I didn't want to add more supplies because more supplies means more money, and I had just spent all this money on my first machine, which was the Cricut Maker, and of course all the supplies, because I've never, you know, I was never really into crafting at that point. So I started out using HTV, also known as heat transfer vinyl, iron on vinyl, and I loved it. I was personalizing everything. Um, but the more projects I did, the more I started following other people, I realized that you couldn't get all the details. Um, you can't get all the colors. So you were limited with the designs that you could do and the projects that you could do. Not to mention the maintenance of the project. So how you wash it and took care of it was going to have a direct impact on how long this project was going to stick around. So your sweatshirt, for example, may only last a few washes before the design started to peel. And there were lots of learnings to be had. <laughs> and around that time, Cricut came out with the infusible ink markers and transfer sheets. And that was my first introduction to sublimation. And, you know, once you get a taste of the colors, how vibrant they are, and then knowing that it's all permanent, you can wash it however you want to, I was hooked. So... As with all hobbies, there are dangers to avoid. So today's session, my session is called Different Blanks, Different Results. And what I really mean by that is uh, when it comes to glitter. I love all things glitter, and that's glitter in all forms. <laughs> so when I got my hands on the glitter tumblers, which I have right here, I'm going to show you, there was just no going back. Um, so if you... It, you know, it gives me that whole epoxy feel, but without the epoxy, because I'm kind of scared of epoxy. <laughs> I've never tried it, but it but it makes me nervous. And you can hear it. It's got a different texture to it. But here's the thing. Did you know that sublimation ink is transparent? So there's definitely a lesson here. So with it being transparent, it means that the color of the blank was going to have a major impact on the outcome of your project. And I like to compare this to lip gloss. Lip gloss with some, you know, with uh, hints of color will, um, will look different. You and I can wear the same lip gloss and it would look different because my lip color is different than yours. So the base is different and that's the same with sublimation. So what I came up with, and of course it's because of a failed project, <laughs> is a color chart. This is the color chart that you see. It's available to you. Um, and up until this point, I didn't really need a color chart because I had only used white blanks. So white mugs, white coasters, white t-shirts. And white is a great blank because it really takes the, um, the sublimation ink and makes it super bright and beautiful and everything looks amazing. Um, but like I said, I do love my glitter and that's where my first field project started. So I'm gonna show you all of that, but let's plug in the first thing that we're gonna do. So let me grab, this is the mug press from Craft Express. And I love it because it's super easy to use. So let me move it out of the light. <laughs> All right, so I'm plugging it in. 
And you'll see that in this whole thing, there is only one button. There is nothing else. So I'm going to move it out of the light right there. And you're just going to press down for a couple seconds. And it turns on literally one button. So what happens is while it's getting ready, it's going to have an orange light. When it's ready, it's going to turn green. So once it turns green and I, we put the mug in, it's going to automatically close and it will automatically open when it's ready. So it is so, so easy to use. All right. So I'm going to put this on the side. Let me show you that first project and why we need this color chart. So, my first project is, um, you know, I have a daughter in elementary school and we always do, you know, the first day, the first day of school boards, right? And um, I was erasing it and about to fill out the new information for the year and I realized, gosh, I erase it. Like, I don't have it. The only thing that I have is what's left on there and my pictures. So every year, it you know, it goes away, right? So I wanted to do this, um, this tumbler that has everything that is on that board, but in all the pretty colors and I can use it and drink from it all the time. <laughs> so here it is. So it's a gorgeous tumbler. And what I don't want to happen is when you don't know how the colors are going to be that you think it's either the, you know, it's the blank. The blank is awful. No, the blank is actually not awful. It's the colors that we used. So let me show you. Down here, it's supposed to say the date. It is so hard to see. So this is the pink tumbler, the pink glitter tumbler. I've got a silver one here as well. And then I'm also going to today press on a white um, it's more like an iridescent, like it's a nice, a glossy finish. So you can, you don't feel anything. It's nice and smooth and you can hear the difference here. This has a, um, like a, a, a texture to it on top. So, all right, let me show you. So what I did was I thought this was going to be beautiful. Look at all the colored pencils. I have her, I transferred over her handwriting. Like I was ready to be mom of the year. And then I pressed this thing and I was so unhappy, like you could barely read that. Um, I can read all of this, but it's a struggle and it shouldn't be, right? It's supposed to be vibrant and beautiful and some colors are, like her signature is great. This dark blue is great. So let me show you what it looks like. So here's that color chart again. And, oops, did this not? Oh boy, I accidentally, I think I um, I hit the button on the side and it turned off. So give me one second to turn it back on. Okay, there we go. All right, I left it for a second and I think I bumped it with my hip. Okay, so here is my color chart. And like I said, the first, you know, before when I was doing it on white, everything, you know, all my blanks were white. Um, everything looked great. Look at, look at these colors. It's gorgeous, right? Um, and with the color chart, if you don't like these colors, it's super easy um, to go and create it. I, you know, I did it in Canva. I wanted a, a range of colors so that that way when I'm designing, I can go in and pick the right colors. Now, um, let's look at this color, right? Because I think it's beautiful. It's this light blue. It shows up well on the white, but look at what it looks like on here. So it, it's almost, it's like so transparent. It like took the color of this pink and sort of like, it actually is really dark, right? So if you were selling this, it would be, um, you may have some customer customer issues, right? Um, they might want a refund because this isn't what, what they envisioned. And it's okay if it's not what they envisioned if you uh, are ready for it up front, right? Like you could tell them, look, this blue is not gonna look good because I have it on here. Let me show you, this is on the silver one, right? So I'm gonna compare, I'm gonna line up all my greens so that we're looking at the same thing, okay? So you can see on the green here, how different it looks from these two, just the bottom color even. So this is the pink one, the middle one's the pink one, this one's the gray one. And you can see how the colors change. Um, and you 
can look at this. So this is super helpful for me because I was so disappointed after that first one. And you know, these blanks are, they're expensive when you mess up. So you want to know your, basically it's like a, your swatch kit, like cardstock, like all the cardstock you see behind me. Um, this is sort of my swatch kit for sublimation. And by using these three, it really helps me with my designs and my projects. All right. Okay. So this little guy turned green, so it's ready for us, but I'm not ready yet. So let's prep our first little mug. So I'm going to do it in white. Here it is. And here I'm doing the same mug and the same pictures on a white mug, on a glitter mug, and then I'm going to do it on this tumbler so that you can see the difference, okay? And with uh, pictures, I chose a wide range of pictures as well so that you can see that. Some of these pictures um, are lighter, some are darker, and so we can get a wide range of what it's going to look like. Okay, so with this mug, what you want to do is I'm just going to trim this really quickly at the bottom. And I kind of just put it in the middle and I'm going to trim the sides because I know this is too large. Now, the thing is, when I am doing sublimation, I bypass Cricut completely. I usually go into Canva because it's a larger um, piece than what is available to me to cut, um, you know, in the restrictions with Cricut's design space. So I want to put this in the middle of the pictures. And I'm just going to fold up like this on both sides and then I'm going to tape it down. I really want to make sure that I get a good, a good tape because what you don't want is you don't want your image to move around and you also want it really close to the blank because when it presses, we want all the colors to transfer and it's going to be a perfect mug. Now, so I end up taping quite a bit. I will tape under, I'll fold it over just so that it's easy to pull off later. And I'm gonna move it like this. Okay. And that's gonna pull off completely. Now the other thing is you're gonna wanna make sure that you have heat resistant tape. If you don't have heat resistant tape, your blank is gonna get really messed up. And <laughs> me how I know because I've done it by accident. I used the wrong one and it left like a just a sticky mess on my blank and it's not I wasn't able to clean it up. So you want to make sure you have the right tape and you also want to make sure that you're not stingy on it. So I've got this um, wrapped up and then I'm going to take this is from Artistry. It's the ionized paper and this just keeps it from from the ink escaping, and that way it's not gonna ruin my press. So I'm gonna put this over here, like so, and then I'm gonna just trim this off a little bit, and then I'm gonna tape it, just to make sure it's there. Okay, so. I'm gonna stick it in. And then it closes by itself. Super, super easy, right? Um, this will continue to move over. When it moves over to the fourth dot, we'll get an audio, <laughs> an audio warning. And then on the fifth bubble, when it's ready and it goes to that fifth light, it will automatically open and we'll just pull it out. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab a bowl of room temperature water. Okay, so I'll be right back to grab that. And the reason why we want this is because there's so much heat going on right now. And so um, when we take it out and it's still wrapped, 
the whole mug is still cooking so we don't want to um, burn it and I was told <laughs> um, that we can kind of stop the baking kind of just like cooking um, you know when you take something out of the oven like a chicken and it has tin foil on it right it's still cooking even though it's not in the oven so I want to um, basically put it in room temperature water and it's gonna sizzle, so don't worry, but it's gonna stop the cooking, and then we can unfold the thing. And that's the other thing is, um, you don't want to leave it on when you take it out. You either want to dip it in this room temperature water, or you start to peel it right away. Um, otherwise, it, it's really, it's wrapped tightly, right? Because we taped it down, and so there's just a lot of heat going on. So we're gonna let that happen, and what we're gonna do right now is, I'm going to, I'll leave this here, move things aside and I'm gonna prep this mug just so that you can see now I love these finishes because it's complete like let me show you I've already done this mug so you can see with the white that it ends right and then there's nothing in between here because that's where the mug you know it sticks out we can't we can't um, apply the heat there unless you stick it in the oven so um and we're not doing that we're using the mug press so what i like about having these mugs is that it just feels more full and then the bottom as well so it just feels like more i don't know less um it, it just feels more complete to me different a different look so i really like it but again you need to make sure that you understand the colors that you're putting on this blank so i'm going to put it uh, over here let's work on this and i'm going to grab this one here's the second one same print and i'm just going to cut it and we're going to wrap this one as well so i'm going to trim it a little bit more And while this is going, it's still going, I'm going to tape it down here. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing with this. Now with the glitter finish, remember how you could you could hear it, that, that texture on top? This one is going to, your tape may not stick all that well. So you just want to make sure that you do a good job on your taping. So I'm going to tape it up here, kind of same as before. We may need a little bit more tape on this one. And you just want to get a good, I mean, there's no such thing as over taping. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't. Um, all right, let's do a little bit more. I just want to make sure it's sealed in there. And then um, I'm going to grab the, oops. So it's getting ready. It hit the fourth button. So that means the fifth one's going to come any second now. So I'm actually going to get ready okay and i'm gonna grab my glove just to get ready and then it will automatically open up so i'm gonna stay a little more on the quiet side so you can hear it and then i'm just gonna wipe this up real quick okay any second now and i i mean people i i make so many tumblers and so many mugs People just love them as gifts. Um, all right, here we go. So I'm pulling it off right away. And then I feel like I'm not that quick right now. I'm gonna dip it in. And you can hear it, right? It's just room temperature, it's fine. And I'm gonna continue peeling it. Let me get this out of the way. And 
and it's, ooh, it's hot. I can feel it through my gloves even. Okay, so you can see, look at the colors. It's so cool, right, to have a mug like this. So let me move this out. We're gonna do the other one so that we can compare the two. Okay, so I'm gonna move this aside really quickly. We already have this one almost ready to go. I'm gonna leave that there. Let's get the paper to make sure that we don't ruin our press. And I'm just gonna trim a little piece. And then I'm gonna trim this just so that I can get a good wrap. So it's gonna fold like this and then tape it all the way around. And then I'm gonna drop it in. And then I'm gonna wipe up. <laughs> okay, so you see it's closing. I'm gonna wipe this up, make sure it's all good. And then I'm gonna compare so you can see the colors. I mean, I just love it. On white, white takes the colors so well. And I'll show you, but even on the glitter, you can do it if you choose the right colors. So this is my Halloween one. Look at the details. And it's so pretty, right? You get that extra glitter. I just love it. So I've got this one. Red is also a good one on pink. Now here, if <laughs> you can see the opening, Keep in mind, there's a top and a bottom. So I messed up on this one and did oh, 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 instead of ho, 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 because it's supposed to look like this. <laughs> and that's gonna happen. So just remember, like I was so, I mean, I remember doing this one. I was concentrating on making sure it was wrapped well and did not, you know, did not realize. But you can see the colors are beautiful. The black, the black outline is just like, it's a perfect cup other than it being upside down. Let me see if I have one more to show you. Um, I do. This one I use sublimation ink um, for the markers and the paint from Artispre. And I let my daughter just like paint and do things. These are her thumbprints. Um, it's a lot of fun. You know, you could do, you could, you could do that, those types of projects, or you could use your sublimation printer to get out the projects like this. And then let me show you, I've got, this is the one that I just did with Wednesday, uh, for the Wednesday Tumblr. And this is also on that shimmer one. So it's smooth, but it's got that glittery, like iridescent look. And you can really see it when you start to, um, when you start to look into the, the picture, where it gets really, where you can see the contrast between light and dark, you can, the, the iridescent like comes through and it's just, really, really pretty. It adds that extra um, detail that you don't notice when you're just in the dark areas, but I love it. I mean, look at that. There's no way you could do this if you, um, with HTV, it would be impossible. <laughs> All right, the other thing that I like to do is, um, I have one more tumbler to show you. I'm not a big designer. I like to hack things though. So um, I will get a design on Etsy, for instance, and then I'll bring it into Canva and I'll personalize it there. So you can see I added my daughter's name and look at the details on this. You like I've got gold flakes. Um, I've got like this gl green glitter look throughout and it's just our lucky tumbler, right? So pretty. Okay, so let me put that down. Let's see, this is still going. We've got our water bath ready to go. And this is still, it's still warm. So that's why you wanna make sure because now it's, at least it's not, um, there's nothing holding, uh, holding the heat in. So it will cool down. But that's why you wanna make sure that you start unwrapping right away. Okay, let's move this out of the way. We're waiting for that. And while we're here and we're waiting, I do wanna just remind you one more time for that tumbler press. Uh, once this one's done, I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna put it in the water bath, and then 
I'm gonna unplug it and we're gonna plug in our tumbler press to get that going. I, I mean, as you can see, just the tumblers that I have on here already that I haven't given away. I love making those tumblers. So it's a lot of fun. You can design them. Like I said, you can start from scratch or you can start from a base design. So like, um, you know, like I'll scroll through Etsy, find something knowing that I'm gonna make some changes to it. And you can easily do that. Um, or you can use in Canva, you can use some of their templates like this graduation one that we're doing. Um, I'll show you in a second. I started out like using the, the gold up there and then just added some photos. And this is the one that we're gonna make right now. Right after this. <laughs> okay, so it's getting ready. We heard that fourth beep. Um, when it hits that fifth bubble, it's gonna be ready for us. and I'll have it sit here. I hope you're enjoying this. Sublimation Camp is amazing. It's like such a great way to get into it, know what you're doing, and get all the right tips and tricks. Okay, here we go. So. Oh, it came off really quickly. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that the pictures are um, got the, the, the bath. And then now I'm going to turn this off. Okay, unplug it, and then we're going to bring up the tumbler press. So let me move this out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna pull up this tumbler press. Let me wipe this down. This is still, this mug is still warm. So I'm gonna put this over here, this over here. All right, I'm gonna move this over for a second. Okay, and here is our tumbler press. It is super easy to use. I'm gonna plug it in and then show you. This is the one that we're giving away. So one winner, one tumbler press going out. There's one green button to turn it on. Once it's on, there are just a few buttons in the front to control your temperature and your um, the time. So. I'm gonna move this back just a little bit. I'm gonna grab the towel. Let's wipe this down, and then we're gonna wrap our tumbler right now, okay? So it is the white glossy one, which I love. It's so pretty. Um, I'm gonna pull this off, and then here is my file. So when I'm in Canva, what I do is I measure from this for, for the pictures from here to here and I know this image is a little bit under it's at about nine point um, about nine point three so I'm gonna cut all the way to the picture on both sides and then I'm gonna tape it up I'm gonna trim it just a little bit more so that I know exactly where the pictures are. Okay, and now that we have it, we're gonna line it up to make sure we're good. to tape this bad boy. Now, if you're looking at the tumbler press, you can see right here there's a seam. So when we're putting this in, what we're gonna do is, this needs to press for two minutes. So one minute in, um, the countdown went down because I closed it. <laughs> so right now the temperature is still getting, um, it still needs to get there. 
So what um what you're gonna do is I always when I put it in I put my seam up just so that I have I know exactly um how much to turn. So halfway through it, 60 seconds down, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna turn it over so that this seam now is completely covered on the bottom. And so we are gonna rotate it. You only need to rotate it once um, and then we take it out and it will be a beautiful mug so or a beautiful tumbler. So let's do that. Um, this is wrapped up. Just gonna wrap this really quickly. And I'll show you in a second. I'm running out of real estate here. <laughs> I'm gonna tape this up like so. Okay. And I'm not worried about the top and the bottom because I'm gonna slide this in and it's gonna be fine. So let's wait for that there. And I'm just gonna move everything out of the way. Just to give you another look at that pencil so that you can see how the colors work. So, and don't forget, you have that $5 coupon. So it's CAMP, C-A-M-P, all caps, at Craft Express. And so you can see, look at, I mean, some of these colors, this blue, I love it. I love the way it shows up and even the light blue. But you just need to make sure you can barely see the dates down here. So... All right, we are almost there. So I'm gonna stick it in. And I think you can see. So I'm gonna make sure that it's where I can, I have a visual, so it's here, okay? Put the tape up. I'm gonna close it, and the countdown begins. So 60 seconds in, I'm gonna open it up, flip it, you know, rotate it a little bit, and then close it back up. The timer is gonna start again. It's gonna be at 120 seconds. I guess I could have done it at 60 seconds, but I left it at 120, um, knowing that that's the full time that it needs. So once we open and we restart, the timer starts again, well, we're only gonna go down 60 seconds and then we're gonna pull it out completely. Let me get the water bath. And we're almost there. <laughs> I love this. Like I said, people love the gifts. They love getting tumblers. Everyone's using them these days anyway. And um, all right, I'm gonna open this up. Rotate this, close it back up. And then let the countdown start again. And then I'm gonna, once we're ready to go, I'm going to, Take off as much as I can, stick it in the water bath. Remember, you want it at room temperature, okay? We don't want <laughs> to mess up anything. Just room temperature water that will cool it down. And we're going to get a nice, perfect little project going. So, the other, some of my other favorite blinks are coasters because you could do so much with them and then um i really like the sequins the ones where you you know move it one way and you get it to the white side you can um press your design and then you turn it the other way and it's you know like pink sequins or black sequins and you it covers up your design which i love so all right here we go i'm gonna pull this out i'm gonna turn it off See if I can it's really hot like I can even feel the heat coming off of this but it's coming and I was actually able to pull off the whole thing. So give me one second. Oh, totally cooled down. This, this did not keep the heat as much as, this mug is still really hot. So here you have it. Look at the cold, the cold came out great. Her pictures came out great. And I went all the way around 
It looks wonderful, right? All right, that's all that I have for you. I hope that the little swatch kit that I made for you is helpful for you to understand the colors and the different blanks that you can use. And I will see you hopefully on the website so that you can register and um, win that Tumblr press. And I will see you guys around. Bye.